Today, Troy brought us to a place called El Naranjal. It's about 20 minutes south of Tulum. It is a chewing gum factory. So we've arrived at the gum camp. It's not a gum factory. We're actually in the middle of a jungle with our local guides who lives on this property and this land has been in his family for generations. It's gotta be seen. Pool. 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 Can I drive too? Just why not? All right. Oh, you're all kidding. Right. <laughs> nice. Wee! Oh, it's so hard to turn. <laughs> They're all like, oh, they hired a hot girl to drive the right? shuttle now. Bim, bim. Do you guys want to ride? <laughs> She's the new driver here. Come on, guys. Get oh, on. There he is. Oh, Buddy, we gotta go. we gotta we're go. late. You're on Mexican time again. Can you help me out? Yes. Yeah. So Bahia big. Principe is where it's at, eh? You need to stay a whole month to know this place. Well, it's look. so big. I'm gonna bring Pinky because I need to dry it up. Yeah. We're following safety regulations <laughs> as always. Dude, this is definitely my favorite resort. Definitely. I think that I stayed at for oh, sure yeah. this year. Yep. Bahia Principe is sure. big, it's clean. We're yeah. holding on. Carla's driving the shuttle. You're owning the back on your penny. What can I say? And you love that yes, pool. And I, honestly, I can't believe that you had it to yourself, dude. Yeah. I'm very, very sorry for the okay. delay. Carlita. Hola. This is a small campament. Valentin has been working here for many years with his family. The main work with these people is extraction of the chewing gum. They have done it for generations. Okay. In fact, for the Mayan people, chicle, it means to chew. Valentin, vamos? Vamos, yeah. Mayan, Mayan word is cones for let's go. Cones. After they cook the chewing gum, they put it hard chewing gum in this box and wait for it to dry. To dry, exactly. This is old chewing gum. Oh, this is old really? chewing gum. Yeah, it's it hard is, as a rock, actually. We're going to start from finding the tree in the jungle. Do you speak Maya? We want to learn. I right. speak Maya. Mashabel. Bishabel. 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 That means how are you? Atsut. Bless you. No. Oh, sorry. I thought you sneezed though. <laughs> this is one of the alternative trees they cut for the resin, for the gum. Yeah. The Mayan name is chunup. When they are in the jungle and they have a snake bite, they mix the resin of chunup with another, the resin of another tree, and they use it like an antidote. They mix yeah, the two of them together the snake bite. with water and salt, and you oh. drink it. Saskab is the softest part of the limestone, and what they do, they use to burn it, so they produce powder, and they mix this powder with the resin of these trees to make their mortar or cement. To oh, uh, and to that's what they use to build houses. If you harvest completely the tree, you can reharvest the same tree after 14 years. It's, so you have to it's wait. Every 14 you have years? to wait 14 years to that's a long time. take the sap back yes, again. Bro, do you want me to carry the camera? Aldo, sure. this is nice. the chewing gum tree. Manilcara Zapota, the main characteristic is that if you look at the top, the bark is in lines. They have harvested the first part. Now Valentin is going to climb and it's going to start to cut from. Oh, look how red it is. So does that mean it's a tutti frutti flavor gum? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> strawberry. <laughs> Another thing, nice thing about this tree is that it's one of the hardest woods we have. So it's very precious for construction, for furnitures. So at the end, all of the cuts are going to lead to the same place and then collect to the bottom with the bag. Yes. With, Who up? needs a hammer when you can use the end of a machete? You know what I mean? <laughs> what I love is that they're respecting Mother Nature and uh, their surroundings, and you can see, as you said, you know, you oh, can only do so much with them or you're gonna harm them. And I asked you if, if the trees ever die, and you said, no, they never die because he makes sure to take care of them. They know how to do it. It's crazy because I was asking him how the Mayans knew that this tree will give you gum. We don't know. We don't know everything about the Mayan civilization 
because so much of the history and the papers were destroyed. It's gone. Yes. Good job. Yeah. Man. Good job. Now Troy's gonna go and get you. Stay there, Troy. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Drop the machete to me first. <laughs> so Troy, how many tools do you see he's using? Well, he's got three tools and then the rope. That's so it. I guess. Hey, that's his favorite part. <laughs> you can <laughs> tell. Did you just say that? <laughs> <laughs> we can eat this one. Yes. This one. Yes. Oh, oh yes. Who I wanna try? It doesn't taste really? like how much. You're gonna turn, turn around to him. Turn around to him. Turn around to him. Is this what we do now? Muy bien. Perfect. In the pedal. For diarrhea, they boil this and they drink the water. At least for the diarrhea, eh? We're gonna boil it down though. How do we look? Looking you good? look Mayan now. You have to oh, put my some fingers on your face stuck. too. No! Yeah. Yeah. You have to put some on your face too. You have to leave us alone. Let's go. Basecamp is always about hands-on. We try to be not just by watching, we not only want to see the process, we want to get involved with the process and try new things and try and see how they do it so we can experience things just the way it's supposed to be when we travel. Oh, nice bite, Troy. Nice. You tell that gum who's boss. Mm. How is it? Mm. How is it, bro? It tastes like hands. <laughs> this is so big. <laughs> it tastes like chewing gum that's been in your mouth for an hour. <laughs> Yeah. And this got a little bit nasty when there was just the big ball of gum, chewing gum, and everybody was touching it and it was in the gross water and everybody was dipping their hands in there and we we're all just diving in and biting off pieces. It was uh, a little bit nasty. Valentin was telling me a lot of stuff that I didn't know. He's Mayan, so I want to learn as much as I can uh, the, with the amount of time that we have to spend with him. I really appreciate uh, all the information that you give us. This is what it's all about. We want to see something different, something most people don't get to see, something most people don't think to see. And anytime I think I chew a piece of gum, I'm going to think about that time that I was at Cyan Can and learn how to make gum myself from scratch, from this guy who's following his traditions of his family on his land that they have lived for centuries. That is the coolest story. You know? <laughs> 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 <laughs>